How's it going, everyone? It is Thursday, November 14th, 2024. Let's get into the pick from the last video, which was Reddit. So Reddit, uh, very nice relative strength today. Let's take a look at this entry on the chart. So stock uh, had pulled back, formed a higher low double bottom, and broke above that relative high. We got a pretty close price to that. Re that relative high is about uh, 130. We got here in about 133. Uh, so pretty good price. I think 132 could have been a little bit better, but I'm not going to um, kind of really squeeze every last drop over here on Reddit. You can see that the stock today holding up pretty well considering the market has been going down. Um, we've got some nice relative strength on the stock. Let's take a look at some of the other picks real quick. Um, team holding up pretty well here. We're through the kind of filling in that gap here. We're testing this relative high um, all the way from the beginning of the year. So um, if I drop in a price line, you can see here's the close, here's the high of this candle. So a little bit of resistance coming here, but pretty good considering the market is dead um and it's not really doing a whole lot so um we added a little bit to the position today we're just kind of holding it through knowing that we might have to weather a bit of a dip um stock has made a really nice organized move this is a pretty kind of fast move but if you look at the price action on uh team really strong price action right you can see it's just a very kind of steady uh steady move here now you can see it's kind of flattening out a little bit um but i'm willing to kind of take a dip and get in on that next leg higher so uh like what i'm seeing in the stock uh we are also in amazon um that stock is made a big move up yesterday pulling back and it's finding support at the prior all-time high around 212 so uh, again, just waiting for any signs of market support. I want to see some relative strength in Amazon, which I am seeing. So I may add a little bit to the position here today. Um, but I haven't really seen SPY clear 600, so I don't want to get too crazy uh, with the ad. So if anything, it might be a small ad at this level. Um, and then we have our cart time spread which is uh doing pretty well all things considered today market is down this time spread is up um we're holding this 50 sma pretty well and we're trying to break above this relative high uh and probably challenge yeah this uh this is the earnings anchored view app i believe delete that so you can draw a couple of these over here um but we're kind of chopping around there. And then here's the one uh, on the day before. And you can see, right, if those come into play. So this might be a level to consider. Okay, maybe I uh, take the loss and the time spread over here. Um, And those are our positions. So what can we take today? Well, um, let's take a look at just the market on a longer term time frame. And I am going to uh, pull up my market chart. So a uh, couple things here again. Now, main thing is that we're still pretty bullish longer term. Shorter term, we are a little bit more mildly bullish because, and that's the wrong chart for me to flip through. So let's take this guy out. Um, because markets made a pretty big move pretty fast and we want to see a weak pullback. So looks like we're kind of getting that right now. Um, we hit the top of the trend line. We hit 600. So we're kind of in this little compression range here from 600 to 595. We can see we chopped around that. We got a poke, one move down, second move down. So forming a bit of a double bottom today. And... Uh, that's kind of the reason why we are a little 
a bit more cautious. So again, not doing anything crazy, but now is not the time to, you know, scale in a whole bunch of longs, a whole bunch of swings, right? This is the time to be pretty inactive. I'm only really going to day trade um, slash look for some earnings time spreads slash uh, maybe look to add a little bit to some positions that are showing some relative strength. But I really want to see the market sort of make a kind of a double bottom in here. And so far, we haven't quite got that. If we zoom out a little bit, right, you know, market is moving down. This is a very slow, gradual move down. We still have a bit of a lower low here. So, you no, know, don't feel too comfortable adding to what I'm seeing here in the market. Um, I want to wait for maybe we have to come in and test this gap. Maybe we have to test 585. But I'd like to see us hold this 595 level um, for the next couple of days. It might take a week or two to resolve, but that is um, kind of what I'm looking for. So on a fundamental technical basis, longer term, right? We're still maintaining our bullish outlook. Pretty confident about that until the year end. For the short term technical, we're cautiously waiting. Supports established. We potentially could be uh, in a range. So we're just watching that. Um, and here's a probability. So the chance we break above 600 this week, I put a 35% chance. Uh, today it's looking a lot less likely. So I'm probably going to revise it. This is what I wrote last night. Based on what I see today, right? We didn't. We did. If we had a higher low and we broke up over here, then that would be pretty good. The fact that we had another test and actually poked through a little bit over here tells us that there's some selling pressure. So, I think the chance we break above 600 this week is now probably going to be zero. I'm not going to say zero. I'm going to say like effectively zero. I don't think it's going to happen this week. Next week could have a chance. I'm going to give it like a 20%, 30% chance next week. Uh, range bound. For the next week still think this is the most likely scenario it's the most bullish scenario and based on the price action and what i'm seeing got some choppy choppy candles over here we haven't seen any sort of bad day and if we do it might get erased fairly quickly um that's kind of what we want to see but market is on a sell signal um shorter term and um you know we're we're still still kind of digesting some of those gains something crazy now, the other scenario is that we break below 595 and test 590, 585 in the next two weeks. Now, I think it's possible. I don't see this as as likely right now, but that's going to depend on really if we get a clean break today or not. So if we get a clean break of this level and we close below 595-ish, okay, I mean, that would be that would actually increase the chance of that happening. And I'd want to be a little bit more cautious about um, adding to positions because we still, might, we, see, we still may have to withstand some selling. All right, a lot of uh, buy signals here are getting triggered. Um, so let's pull this back up here. Okay, so on a day trading basis, right, a long-term market bias is mildly bullish. We're waiting for some test support uh, or some tiny body candles. So basically, we got to wait for the market to find support and then take longs. That's kind of my day trading strategy. So I'm going to go back to this M5 chart here. And let's start looking at what's going on um, on this M5 chart. So um, we know that the market, it made that all-time high a couple of days ago, right? Got a gap up all-time high, filled in the gap, choppy move, right? So we had this um, lower low over here a couple of days ago. Then we got a pretty tall bounce from that. We got another tall bounce from that. So we started to kind of flip back and trying to push above this relative high here. Sellers came back in, pushing it back down. And we're just seeing a lot of fighting back and forth in this range. So these tall bounces tell us that, okay, I mean, there are some buyers that are engaged. And the back and forth choppy move that it's like, this is a pretty weak um, pullback so far. A lot of back and forth choppiness in this compression. So really not crazy um, about anything I'm, I'm really seeing here. This is, again, not the time to be taking a whole bunch of swings. You should already have your start of swings, right? We're entering a turn in the market, right? You hit hit the gas, right? Hit the gas, hit the gas. Now we start to slow down, right? We're coasting on this turn. We're waiting for the next move, and then we're going to get back in. So I'm going to be pretty not active this week, pretty non-directional, I'd say, um, until I see some sort of technical move, either a dip in a sort of support from that dip or a compression and then a breakout. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Um, so we're seeing this couple back and forth choppy action. That's kind of the name of the game. Volume has been okay-ish. If we look at the D1 chart, right? There's been some decent volume here. It's not been terrible. 
Um, now, today we had a small gap up, PPI and CPI in line. They've been kind of deva devalue and deweighted. Um, market first had a test right here of the prior day low and also uh, this 11.6 AV Web Q. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit, see if I can get it loaded on the chart, right? So you can see how this is a pretty significant level, I would say. And um, we got a test here, we got a test here, we got another test here, the three tests, and then we finally got a breakthrough and then we got to poke back up. And now we are just kind of waffling around this level. We haven't quite confirmed above it, but we also haven't quite confirmed below it. We're just sort of dancing around this level. So you want to be pretty passive with your trades. Um, I'm going to show you one trade that I uh, am liking today. Now, cart's actually looking pretty good. I like this little bullish hammer here. And maybe we can get kind of back to that uh, $48 range. So cart's looking pretty good. Um, one trade I like today is Spotify. So really strong stock, ton of volume. It's a day after earnings. So there's going to be a lot of buying, a lot of cushion. I'm going to zoom into the stock over here. So here's why I like Spotify. Um, holding up pretty well relative to the market. It's a choppy stock, so you want to get in on pullbacks. Um, we're compressing over here at VWAP while the market is holding on. So we're holding some of the gains. We got this fresh buy signal, and it actually took it on the buy signal uh, right around here, 482.74, I think. So we're just chopping around, and this is a pretty small size, pretty tight stop. If we start to break below this candle of size for a break below here, then I'm going to take the loss and uh, move on. But um, if we can break back to this high, uh, then we have a pretty good chance. So just kind of waiting. Um, but I like what I'm seeing in Spotify. It's holding VWAP over here. We got a nice double bottom. We're gaining some relative strength. So um, as soon as the, this market selling stops, we should be in good shape. Now, I'm going to um, clear some of these alerts. And let's just take a look at a couple of alerts that have come up on some strong stocks. And then I'm going to give my final pick of the day. So shop, we got a pretty big sell off in shop. Um, looks like, yeah, this guy is uh, taking some heat over here. Um, we're holding those gains pretty well. We're at that AV app. I'm just going to delete some of these. So right at that AV app, um, I'd like to see the stock get above view app. That's the second criteria. So if it can do that, then we're in good shape. Uh, we have coin. Coin came back here testing the breakout as well as the eight EMA. Um, doing okay. Now, this is still in a downtrend, so I need to see coin have a good, a tall bounce and then a higher low, and then we can get something going. So um, let me check the alerts I have here. Okay, so I'm going to reset this alert and I'm going to set an M15 buy signal alert um, on coin. So um, that might be a nice stock again on a pullback. Wait for that support to confirm and then we can get. Pretty nice move on this stock. I mean, this went all the way down. This is a huge move. This ATR is getting absolutely massive here. So um, huge stuff on coin here. Uh, TPR is another decent one today. Um, yeah, strong stock. Good breakout. I believe it's earnings. Or no, no earnings. Just making a move. Um, so yeah, it's holding VWAP pretty well. Uh, we have a nice entry price. So TPR is another pretty nice one to get into today. Um, I'm just going to set an alert for a buy signal. So here's my buy signal. Um, and then final pick for today is going to be an aim at time spread. And I am going to go to this uh, market view here. And just going to pull this over here. So here is uh, the setup for aim at. You can see here, good price. Um, Low times exceeded, high difference, good option liquidity. So that's pretty nice. Baba is too risky. Uh, you can do Oaklo actually. Let's take a look at Oaklo. My concern on Oaklo is that if it's a very new stock, I don't know if it's going to be necessarily uh, that nice here for a post earnings move. But pretty decent setup here yeah if it's a fairly new stock is what it looks like 
Let me actually just, actually, I'm not 100% sure on that. So let me check the monthly chart. Uh, nope, I am lying. Actually, no, wait, uh, no, 2021. Okay, there's been enough data on Oklo. Now, there's been a lot of um big moves and stuff on these nuclear stocks, I believe. Yeah, fission reactors. So that's probably why there's pricing in. There's just been a lot of volatility in this move. So, um... Yeah, I mean, we'll see how ind indicative the average move is. I could potentially play it. Maybe I'd take a smaller size on Oaklo, but uh, that's a pretty decent um, pretty decent option here. But I'm going to go with AMAT. Uh, met all the criteria, so I was just kind of waiting for the market to stall out here on this bearish trend day, and I'd probably go with an AMAT time spread. You can do either do the 85 calls or you can do the 87 um, 50 calls. A nice thing about AMAT, I know there's some... If, uh, what's it called? If the move isn't crazy and the, and that buying starts to, starts to exhaust out, we certainly have, we're certainly kind of trapped in this range between horizontal re resistance and support. So, um, when you have early earnings move, that's when you can really break TA. But when the move starts to fizzle out in the next day or maybe in two days, that's when you start to see that support start to form. Um, this chart is really marked up to all heck. So I got to kind of clean out some of this stuff here oh yeah okay so those are your picks for today spot as a day trade long uh and then aim at as a time spread thank you for watching everyone um hope this is helpful and we'll take a look at how these picks did in tomorrow's video